as we uh, are challenged throughout the culture, and I am convinced that there are people in high places, uh, um, people with a great deal of, um, of authority and influence, who want to eliminate every vestige of uh, religion, especially Christian religion or evangelical religion, uh, from the public square. They want to expunge it. They want to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. And they want to take away our right to worship and to, um, uh, to uh, have a prayer service in a governmental building. This has been our history. We dare not lose it now. And we will if we don't have the guts to stand up with that kind of intensity. And I think of what's happened, remember in Eastern Europe, where churches were used to be there under communism? And the churches, if you, you could preach inside a church wall, and a big church would have been about this size, all right? The communists made sure the churches were, were just tiny. But you could have freedom to preach inside those church walls. Still in China today, you can, you can preach inside of these church walls. But you can't do it outside these walls. I think it's coming to, the, to this country where we will have the freedom to preach inside a church wall. And, and we will lose the freedom to, to do it any other place. That day will probably come. Maybe in my lifetime, I don't know. But we see every day our rights being eroded, just a little at a time, okay? It's happening every day. So let's preach while we can. Let's stand up and let's holler Jesus Christ. King of kings, Lord of lords, to the top of our voice. You know, the secularists are going to get ticked off. The news media is going to hate it. I don't know. Maybe the people in the White House are going to make I don't know. But you know what? I don't care. Because God has called us to take the gospel, his gospel, the power of God unto salvation to the ends of the earth. It was